Okay, so this uh, video is on special request to my patients request to do a video on Genevieve Gregson, who is one of our Australian athletes who suffered an Achilles tendon rupture in the steeplechase just yesterday in the Olympics. Um, very unfortunate injury and on her birthday as well, and she's apparently one of the most popular athletes in the Australian team. So here she is during the steeplechase, she's pushing there off the um, off the left foot, she's very shortly going to land onto her right foot. Unfortunately her knee's going to land extended and all the pressure is going to be placed onto her foot. And her foot uh, is eventually going to be uh, pushed upwards towards the sky, putting a lot of tension at the back of her ankle and this is what, it, what has caused an Achilles tendon rupture. That's the moment that she did it. Um, unfortunately what we're going to see as the uh, frames pan through is that she's then unfortunately going to uh, stumble in the next frame uh, and eventually she's actually going to fall flat on her face. She loses the power immediately as she lands and unfortunately she lands there holding her Achilles tendon. She knows she's done something to the Achilles there which is really unfortunate. Um, to be, you know, she did so well to get to the Olympic final. And here she is pictured on her birthday. She was in, pictured in a plaster afterwards. And the great thing about this plaster is um, it's fancy but the foot is pointing down and that's the best position for the Achilles. Just like that picture on the left. Now the reason this is important is because the Achilles are rupturing and there'll be two ends. The yellow ones there are the two ends of the Achilles. Um, and now if, you, if the foot's in the position is pictured here, then what happens is, is blood forms between the two Achilles ends and that can impair healing. If the patient chooses not to have an operation, then that can be a problem because the blood is in between. Now in this position, the foot's pushed down, the two ends are brought together and there's very little gap. So if the patient chooses not to have an operation, that's the best position that the Achilles can start in. Okay. And the next question you'll probably ask is, will, uh, will Genevieve need surgery? Um, my feeling is she will. The reason for that is in terms of surgical versus non-surgical management, in terms of um, studies that have been done, the risk of re-rupture is about 2.3% with an operation versus 3.9%. Uh, without, that means risk of rupturing it again. So that's pretty negligible. She won't have an operation on those grounds. The function at 12 months for just about everyone, whether you have an operation or not, is the same. But the difference is in the tendon strength. So it's 14% greater at one and two years. Um, Genevieve is an elite athlete. That 14% could be a difference between whether she makes the Olympic final again or not, or whether she even makes the Australian team. So I think um, she'll have Achilles tendon uh, repair surgery either in Japan or when she gets back to Australia. The next question is, will she make it back? Um, maybe not. Unfortunately, so what we know from studies that have been done in professional athletes, in particularly in, the Amer in America, in the States, is that one third of professional athletes unfortunately don't make it back after an Achilles tendon rupture. And Genevieve's doing it a sport that really does involve push off. Now, when will she be back? Well, on average, it's about 10 months or so, um, somewhere between 10 and 12 months. Genevieve does a sport that really involves push off, so that might be a, a bit longer, and we've got to see how we go. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please take a look at our other Achilles tendon uh, video or um, subscribe to our videos here at uh, the Foot Neckle Orthopedic Surgeon. Thank you once again very much for listening, and please let us know if you want any other videos. Thanks.